What's up, YouTube? Just Gav here, bringing you guys a brand new video here up onto the channel. And today's video, finally, we are getting something for Battlefield 2025. Some actually a really kind of big dump of stuff from the man himself, Vince Sampella, on Battlefield 2025. Now, I went all over all of this, the image, the article, everything on the VOD, raw, live reaction to it. If you guys want to go and watch the last stream on the, on the channel, on YouTube, or on Twitter. I guess you can watch it on Twitch, too, if you wanted to. But anyways, I'm just going to throw the image up on screen to, to skip the hoopla from stream because we really kind of broke it down, zoomed into the image and all that stuff. But I thought it would be just a little bit easier just to, just to do it this way, just because you guys a good look at it. Just look at it. Would you look at it? Would you look at it? Zoom in if you can. Go on Google. Save the picture. Zoom in. You know, attack choppers, destroyers. Looks like some kind of invasion going on. It looks interesting. Modern. Uh, modern setting has been confirmed. No 128 players. Uh, what else? Let's see. No Modern setting, no 128 players. There's a bunch of stuff in this article. I'm just going to let the video speak for itself so we can read through it live and, in you know, get, get, the real, get the real reaction from it. So I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. So just gab, guys. I will catch you guys on in the next one. Peace out. <gasps> Girl Scouts. The See ya. Article. Ahead of its... Investor Day on September 17th, EA revealed fresh details on its untitled Battlefield game alongside its first official concept art, which IGN can exclusive, exclusive, exclusively reveal for the first time. IGN also confirmed that Battlefield will be returned to a modern setting after a stint in World War One, World War, World War Two, and near future. Right. While EA is cagey about specifics, why wouldn't they be when it comes to the concept art? Uh, including declining to name this uh, to name the name of the city where it's set, though it looks like. Uh, a lot like Italy, France, or somewhere else in Europe. Okay. It does include details that should stand out to longtime fans of the series, among other things. It appears to suggest that ship to ship and helicopter combat will be part of the new game. Uh, not necessarily. Ship to ship is insane. And it will feature natural disasters. Boo! Boo! Like wildfires. Okay, that's not that bad. Its grayish color scheme is. What does that say? Evocative? 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 A battle for forward. Remains one of the most popular games in the series despite being released a decade ago. BF4 is the go. Battlefield goes back to basics. All of all of it points to a back to basics approach for the next Battlefield. Indeed, head of Respawn uh, and group GM for EA Studios organization, Vince Zampella, uh, which is the head of obviously Titanfall and Apex, is quick to shout out Battlefield 3 and 4, of course, <clears throat> in the course of sitting down with IGM to talk about these new reveals. On the decision to return to the modern era, Zampella says, I mean, and I quote, I mean, if you look back to the peak or the pinnacle of Battlefield, it's that Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 era where everything was modern. And I think we have to get back to the core of what Battlefield is and do that amazingly well. And then we'll see where it goes from there. But I think for me, it's the peak of Battlefield-ness. Is that the peak of Battlefield-ness? Is that Battlefield 3 and 4 days? So I think it's nostalgic for players, for me, for the teams even. Those are kind of the heyday, although I would say 1942 also. Mm, could be a little... A little, a little nugget for, you know, something maybe down the road. I don't know. The return to modern setting represents a course correction for the series after Battlefield 2042, which eventually found its footing, eh, but was otherwise widely panned for feature-like specialists. Correct. Characters that made it seem as if Battlefield was trying to do a hero shooter. Eh. Its ambitious 128-player maps also proved unpopular with fans who preferred a more focused experience. Battlefield 2042 eventually went back to supporting 64-player maps, and the next Battlefield plans to stick to that approach. I'd rather have nice, dense, really nice, well-designed play spaces. Some of them are really good. So, obviously, I think it was about six months ago, um, Andrew Wilson, who's the CEO, talked about, uh, it was probably five or six months ago, talked about playing the game and how they had a playable build. And that was, that was you know, that long ago. So, I'm sure they've come quite a, quite a way since then. And some of them, plural... Are really good. Not all of them, Vince. All of them aren't really good. Only some. Hmm. We want all of them to be good. It's impossible for all of them to be good, but I digress. Yeah, the 128 player didn't make it more fun. Like doing the number for the sake of the number doesn't make any sense. We're testing everything around what's the most fun. So, like you said, the maps, once they get to a certain scale, become different. It's a different play space. I think you have to design around that. So, we are designing something that is more akin to previous Battlefield Zampella says. I'd rather have nice, dense, really nice, well-designed play spaces. Some of them are really good. I can't wait for you to see some of them. Some? 
<laughs> we want to see it all. Excuse me. <laughs> Specialists are also out this time around. So I wasn't there for 2042. I don't know what the rationale was. But for me, it's like the team tried something new. You have to applaud the effort. Not everybody liked it. But you got to try new things. It didn't work. It didn't fit. Specialists will not be coming back. So classes are kind of at the core of Battlefield, and we're going back to that. Zempella says, oh, okay, okay. He's careful to stress that Battlefield 2042... He's careful to stress that Battlefield 2042 wasn't a failure of a game. Okay. Despite not doing as well as Hope, he notes that the development team really spent a lot of time learning how to adapt it and getting things back. Still, he says EA doesn't want a repeat of the experience it had with 2042. We want it to be good out of the gate. Well, that's not exactly your uh, your their forte, Zampella, Vince. It's not your forte. It adds up to what one might call classic Battlefield, but bigger. Big enough that it merits the efforts of four separate studios and DICE, Motive, Ripple Effect, and Criterion. Ridgeline Games was briefly a part of the villain before being shuttered after founder Marcus Leto. Departure? Yeah, we all know that. That happened a while ago. EA... CEO Andrew Wilson claims it's one of the most ambitious. I don't want to hear shit from Andrew Wilson. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I don't want to hear a God living damn thing. For, I don't want to hear anything from you. We already heard that you played the game. Great. That's good. We, it's in a play. We don't want to hear no ambitious, bigger than ever. It just works. Uh, 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 innovative, fun. We don't want to. I don't want to. Why are you talking? We want to hear the people who are actually, you know, working on the game instead of you know looking at excel spreadsheets on how to squeeze dollar bills out of your player base but we we want to hear from those people not you no disrespect you run a successful business and i can't be mad at that but i can be mad at the lackluster dog shit that you put out so you 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 catch in my drift not to not to be you know i'm trying to be better more constructive but i'm gonna be honest with you none of us want to hear anything from you uh you know and uh, if I never get an invitation anywhere, if I blow up one day, we, we know why now. <laughs> but yes. All right. Nevertheless, Zempella remains vague on what all of the actual, uh, what all, what all of that actually entails. Yeah, it's definitely getting, uh, betting bigger on Battlefield. It's going in and expanding what Battlefield is. We have, we have to have the core, the core Battlefield players know what they want. They've been with us forever. They've been amazing supporters. We need to earn their trust back and get them back on our side. Then it's expanding out and getting more players into the universe and seeing what we can do, of course. So, you, so when you want a different experience, you don't have to leave Battlefield. Ooh. Pay it. I want you guys to pay attention to the way things are phrased. You can learn a lot by the by by these quotes if you just if you 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 can read in too much, but that that kind of sticks out to me. So when you want a different experience, you don't have to leave Battlefield. Mm -hmm. Now, what does that mean? Do I smell uh, second, third, fourth game modes? Uh, you know, single player, multiplayer, extraction, BR, you never know. You can experience more things within the Battlefield universe, so we're expanding the offerings that we're giving. I'm telling you, be ready. I want you guys to prepare your minds, your hearts, and your bodies for for that announcement. That's gonna be their big their big ah. Uh, that's gonna be their big cum shot. I'm telling you. In the meantime, Activision Blizzard is pl planning a release for Call of Duty Black Ops Six Battlefield's traditional competitor. Well, it's not really a competition anymore. Where Battlefield has stumbled, Call of Duty has largely continued to thrive. It begs the question: Will Battlefield ever outsell Call of Duty? No, because a they don't put they don't put out enough games. B, you don't have the cultural, you don't have the culture around Battlefield because you don't put out enough games and you're not like seen as hip. You're like the older shooter, older guy, older gal shooter, unfortunately. Uh, but no, it'll never be as big as Call of Duty ever because they don't they don't put out enough stuff. They, you have you have one you have, you put out a game every three to four years. How will you ever compete with a, with somebody who puts out a game every year? And has a free to play BR and has like come on now it's not even a it's not even if you look at the best battlefields have outsourced some Call of Duties yes they have and other way around back and forth so I think absolutely can Zabella says note while sales data is incomplete the publicly available data for even weaker release like Infinite Warfare was typically favored Call of Duty what I mean is that what we're going for I mean not directly but always we're not looking to take down Call of Duty we're making something that's different 
Might get something that's us, but yeah, it definitely has the possibility. Ooh, I like that. I like a little friendly, you know, a little beef. A little beef. On the subject of pushing into the trans media space, what? Where franchises like The Last of All oh, and The Fallout have thrived. The latter taking home an Emmy Award over the weekend's Impella Demure's. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. There are definitely opportunities there. We have ha we have had some discussions, but it's not our core business to me. That stuff, when it works, is super cool. Like, Arcane was fucking... Arcane is fire. Arcane Season 2, baby, coming out this year. Arcane was fucking great, but there's other ones that haven't worked as well, and I want... And I won't name those, but you know what they are. He says it's a marketing opportunity of getting your franchise out there. And it's not the it's not core to what we're doing right now. So we are game first that has to work. And if the right opportunity comes, absolutely, we'll look at it. And do we take meetings all the time? Sure. Really? But it's not the core business. So it's that balance. I would love to see it right now. We're not looking at anything like that for Battlefield. It's unclear when the next Battlefield will release, but there are signs that EA is ramping up for 2025. Having entered full production earlier this year. Huh? You should have been in production three months after 2042 came out. <laughs> According to Zampella, EA is playtesting the game every week and plans to launch a community program. This is what I saw next year, though it's unclear if it's closed beta or something else. Okay. I think we're in a really good place. Is it challenging? Of course, but it wouldn't be fun if it wasn't. We have a program that we're going to announce next year around getting more community in because that's the kind of core. That's kind of the core of what we, I can't read. Get the community back on our side. Got, get that trust back. He says, so I think we're in a really good place. Is it challenging? Of course. Okay, I just read that. Whenever Battlefield eventually releases, it'll be a big test for the series, which has a lot to prove to its fans. I've been close to a decade since its last really successful entry. Yeah, Battlefield 1 was 2016. Uh, it'll be entering an unsettled console landscape with Sony announcing the PS5 Pro last week. Rumors of a next-gen Xbox and Nintendo expected to announce the Switch too soon. Zappella is probably taking a we'll-see approach to both the PS5 Pro and the unannounced Switch 2, though he has some kind words from Nintendo in particular. I mean, since Switch 2 isn't announced and it doesn't exist, I can't really comment on that. But I would, absolutely, I would say absolutely Nintendo, along with Microsoft and Sony, are great partners for us and are important to us. And our business at EA at Respawn would love to see it. Zappella says, we don't have anything to announce. What is our world? Sure, we love them as partners. They've been great to us. I love the Switch. Mm, interesting. <clears throat> One way or another, EA is betting a huge amount of time, money, and manpower on the idea that the multiplayer shooter space is ready for a shakeup. As for whether that bet will pay off, it sounds like we'll know sooner rather than later. And there it is. That's all of it. That's all. That's a long-ass article. My God, it's a lot of reading. That is a lot of reading. But yeah, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Tell me what you guys think about the concept art and the article down below. Almost almost messed it up again. Down in the comments down below. All the links are down in the description below. TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, Discord, all that stuff is down there. So uh, yeah, Battlefield 2025 coming at you soon. Soon, TM. I'm bad at outros. Bye.